Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Lego room vlog. Today we're going to be working on the Lego city right here in the residential area. We actually have to properly place two buildings. That's the borough and also four privet drives. So we got some Harry Potter stuff going on here in the Lego city. Uh, we're actually going to be building a yard for four privet drive because it's not properly integrated onto a base plate. And then we've got to fix up this whole area here. Also in this vlog, I think we're going to go do some Lego shopping as well. There's a couple deals at the Lego store right now that I just cannot pass up on. They're just too good to be true. It's insane. Also, the Lego room is sort of a mess. Like I've got, you know, a lightsaber right here. Okay. Got some glasses right here. We got all sorts of stuff all over the place. Ooh, that's convenient. There's a Tim Hortons copy right here as well. Perfect. But yeah, today we're going to be uh, working on the Lego city. We're going to be doing some custom landscaping and stuff like that. We're going to be cleaning up the Lego room and we'll also be doing some Lego shopping as well. So really exciting day. Can't wait to get started. And let's start it off with a woohoo. This is going to be pretty awesome and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty thrilled about it. So it's good. Okay, so the first thing that I actually need to do is film a review on the burrow. As you can see, it's deconstructed on the desk right now. And I need to rearrange this whole desk area here to our review station. So that's first things first. So pretty quick and easy to change the whole area here. So now we can film our review on the burrow. Look at how many different pieces the burrow has. I won't lie to you guys. I haven't put it together yet. <laughs> I just like stacked them on top of one another, not actually clipped into place, but I'm going to film this portion of the review before I clip it all together. Sometimes it's just easier to do that because I mean, you got the roof, you got the other building, you got this building and it's a replicable model. So it's not as strong as some other models. It's a little harder to put together. So I'm going to film the review in a weird order. But then today in this video, we're actually going to be placing this in the residential area and we'll also be customizing the yard of Fort Privet Drive so it looks awesome like this yard and we'll have that placed in the residential area as well so I'm pretty excited about that but now I'm going to film my review on this edit it and upload it okay so I just finished my review on the burrow oh yes it is assembled and looking really good love all the colors and now we're going to start working on integrating four privet drive onto a base plate and just giving it a yard making it look a little more complete similar to the burrow and then we can place them in the residential area so i'm pretty excited about that as you can imagine adding a little bit of harry potter to our city oh this is just silly over here look at the mess okay so now i got my review rendering here that's perfect and jose's down here referencing four privet drive actual building look at all those owls wow <laughs> and she's starting to develop the yard of our four privet drive it is now 11 38 and the lego store opens in 22 minutes yeah because it's a remembrance day today so in 22 minutes the lego store is going to open and i think we're going to go get our awesome lego set or lego sets and promos and a spectacular deal on those Lego sets. So I'm pretty excited about that. Shazay's, she's stumped over here. She's stumped, she doesn't know what to do. So here we have our four privet drive modular building on a 32 by 32 green base plate. Conveniently, the modular building and also the garage is actually 32 studs wide. So it fits perfectly onto a base plate. As you can see, we've paved a driveway here and we also added some trees and a whole bunch of owls and there's a little rope fence that goes around Fort Privet Drive that's sort of how it is in the movie they don't really have much going on in their front yard the driveway should be actually technically bigger but we just think that looks pretty good just like that there we also have some additional accessories and minifigures right over here that will come into play when we place both of these Harry Potter buildings in the residential area so that's what we're up to next it's going to look pretty sweet, and we're pretty excited about it. Because, of course, we have this large space right here beside the Simpsons house and also the haunted house. 
that will accommodate both of those buildings. Plus there'll be some leftover space as well. I think it's time I clean this area up. Perfect. Jose, I think we also need to find a home for this stuff here. Hey, look at all those Santa Clauses. Holy Santa Clauses. Just in case we drop it, you better film me there, Jose. It's actually pretty sturdy though. I will say, it feels pretty rock solid. It's gonna fill this spot nicely, isn't it? Yeah, those plates work. are taller. Those plates are taller, uh-oh. We'll make it work. Yeah. There we go. It's not bad, so we're gonna do some stuff here, I guess, as well. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm off to the Lego store because it's officially open to go scoop up our Lego Mega Deal. So we arrived at the Lego store and the lineup was probably 40 people long. So I did the smart thing and phoned in to do a curbside pickup order. And while they processed that, we went to the P.O. box and picked up our parcels. But wait till you see the deal we got from the Lego store. Yeah, like seriously, we just got back from West Edmonton Mall, got our Lego store package. Not bad though, with the curbside pickup, it's pretty good. You can navigate around those big old lines there. I mean, I understand wanting to go in the store and look around, but if you know exactly what you want, it's just as easy to do that. Check this out. Okay, so we got the coffee cart promo, right? That's good, excellent. Check out this other promo that we got. The Hogwarts Gryffindor dorms with all the Tile pieces, Harry and Ron minifigs. Just a great promo. Got that as well. But wait, there's more. Another promo right here, which is Hermione's study desk. Because I think if you spend 130 bucks in Canada, you get on Harry Potter purchases, that is, you get both of these. And if you spend $90 on gen general purchases on anything in the Lego store, you get that for free. So we got those three promos. And what sets did we get? Well, we got four Privet Drive, which is an excellent set. As you know, that's what we were working on earlier today. Mint, brand new in box, four Privet Drive, 797 pieces. The Dursleys, Dobby, some great minifigures, the car, a great set. And if you use two of them plus some additional pieces, you can modularize it just like we did in our Lego City. And we got two of them because that put us over the $130 threshold. I think it's $130 to get the two Harry Potter promos and we got the coffee card promo. But wait, I didn't pay $100 each for these. I paid $70. Yeah, they were 30% off. So the 30% off Lego deal off some probably retiring soon sets and three promos. I don't care if we use these for parts. I don't care if we hoard them away for future transactions or if we just use all of these awesome tan and dark tan masonry bricks and slopes and stuff like that for mock building or something i don't i don't care like they're just really good sets to have with some great figures at 30 percent off with three promos that is like the dealio of the day that's unreal okay what do i do with this lightsaber it used to be hanging right here on the mega brick wall. So it used to be right here, but I don't know where to put it now. I hung it vertically before, I could hang it vertically again, or we could hang it horizontally somewhere, or we could just tuck it on top of the shelf on like a stand or something in front of some cool Lego sets. Maybe we could hang it horizontally above the Titanic there, above the windowsill. Maybe we could hang it with our art way over here or something. Hang it with the Sith art maybe. Maybe we put it by the world map. I just don't want to put any more holes in the walls until I know exactly where I want to put the thing. Maybe we put it on the bulkhead. I don't know what to do with it. So I guess it's gonna rest on the train track for now. Hey, speaking of trains, check this out. Why are all these trains right here just in shambles? Well, I'm currently charging all of the batteries. Actually, all of the batteries are now charged. And we're going to have all of these trains with fresh batteries in them, which is 
a good feeling. We literally have a train drawer. So right here we have our battery charger. There's all of the battery boxes for those trains. And then below that is all of the charged batteries that are ready to go. So I've got to get my little mini screwdriver and I've got to put all those trains back together and then they'll be all fully charged, which is pretty awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love Lego trains. I love the movement of them. I think they look very detailed and they're just spectacular when you have them going around a Lego city. But the batteries are something different, you know, and they're always running out of batteries. Even if they're rechargeable batteries, then obviously it doesn't cost anything to recharge a battery and replace the battery and get the train going again. Just the fact that you have to like tear them apart, pull the battery box out, do a little screw, put it in there, you know, put all the batteries in there, screw it up, and then build it again. It's just sort of a nuisance once in a while. I know it's not that big of a task, but when you have that many trains, it becomes a pretty big task. I wish that they somehow had a charger. Like you could just pop a tile off and plug in a phone charger into the battery box and it charge the battery inside the train. You don't have to like pull it all apart to charge it. You know what I mean? I just think that would be so much better. It's such a better solution than what it currently is for me. I don't know. I just feel like that would be way better. But there's my train rent. Maybe we'll get one fired up here. I just feel like this process takes too long. Disassemble the train, pull the battery box out, pull all the batteries out, charge the batteries, put the batteries back in, put the box back together. Put the train back together, then boom, you got to go in. It should be as easy as pulling a tile off, plugging it in, and being done with it. All right, we got the trains going. Pretty awesome. We got the passenger train going around the Lego City line here. Making its way slowly around the track. Pretty awesome. And then we also have the Hogwarts Express buzzing around the amusement park as well. I figured we'd get the Hogwarts Express going because guess what? We've sort of had a Hogwarts or Harry Potter related video today, so I figured that makes sense. I love that train, it's great. We also put tr uh, batteries in the uh, Disney train as well, so we could get that going. But we'll leave it with the Hogwarts for now. Hogwarts Express. Pretty amazing. We also added some more detail over here to the placement of the Burrow and Four Privet Drive. This train could probably use a increase in speed. I think it's going at like a three right now. And that's actually two passenger trains back to back so it becomes a little bit heavier. But yeah, this is what we did over here. We just extended that path like we said earlier. So the burrow path comes out here now. We also added the Weasleys, Dobby, and also the flying car. I love what we did with the base plate of the Ford Privet Drive with all the different owls. And in particular, the burrow just looks fantastic here in the residential area. Pretty exciting day. It's been fantastic. We got a great deal on some Harry Potter sets. And we placed these awesome Harry Potter sets in the residential area. And we finally have trains going again. Yay! Let's go find my remote and let's increase the speed of that one there. Let's see, see if we can pump it up a bit. Somewhere over here. So I've got the uh, Hogwarts Express running off my tablet right now. And then I'm using a train remote for... The passenger train, where did I leave it? Is it over there by you, Shazay? The train remote? Okay, on the left control stick, on the left one, increase the speed by two notches. Oh, there we go. Give it another go. Oh, dangerous. Hey look, there's a Ford Raptor. Whoa. Also the other day we placed the Haunted Banner. That looks pretty cool there too. There we go, that's a better passenger train speed. <laughs> that's so much fun. 
One other change I'm considering making is grouping our skyscrapers. So bringing that large white office tower to the left where the train station is, and then also moving over the SIG tower as well. And group the smaller buildings, so like the Lego store, the arcade that we're still building, also the train station together, and then have these taller skyscrapers beside one another. I think that would look better. Don't ask me why the guy is standing on top. <laughs> I decided to leave him there because I thought it'd be pretty funny. How hard would that be for us to do? Not hard at all to make that uh, swap. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, I don't think this change will be very hard to make. All we have to do is just take this train station out. Move it over. Uh, right there, and then move this building over. We still have to order more gray tiles, so uh, these aren't actually locked into place right now. So it's really easy to move, but if we move those over together, I think having those three big buildings huddled together in one spot makes more sense. And then I'll bring this custom train station right here with the smaller buildings. And I think that's a lot better. Oh yeah, for sure. That's a nice change right there. Get all those tall buildings together, the Avengers Tower, the hospital, the SIG Tower, and the Office Tower. That looks way better. And of course, we kept the Hogwarts train going that whole time. But yeah, I think that's way better. So what I was saying earlier is we got to get more gray tiles so we can tile all back here so it looks finished and all this stuff's actually on the base plate like this and like this. So it'll look way better when we get that done. We just got to order more tiles. I thought we had a thousand gray tiles on the way. I swear we do. And also we got to build some sort of modular inverted corner building right here just to fill this space. I'm not sure what we're going to put there. Uh, and then I've got to work on this arcade. I don't know why I've just abandoned the project. I, I don't know why I, <laughs> I should probably get on that. Also, I've got to fix up all this train track here. This is brutal. We got to finish ballasting all our track. This looks shaggy here. All these different colored base plates too. Looks pretty bad, but yeah, we got to get all these parts ordered to get, all the black tiles on there and then I'll finish all of this ballasting all the way around and get that all consistent and looking good and then we got to figure out what we're going to do here as well on this open base plate area so we're thinking skate park market some other cool stuff we're not sure and then Jose is currently working on the facades for Diagon Alley and those will be placed right away so the back side of Diagon Alley has some really cool facades and they're coming along great. Those should be done within a week. I think I think a week is uh, when that's gonna be done. And then, uh, yeah, the downtown core is gonna be looking pretty sweet. The residential area is looking pretty sweet as well. And then we're ready to transition onto the farm and build like a big barn and stuff like that. We've also got some other ideas for uh, way over there in regards to the beach and also that Ferris wheel. So I actually uh, put the Ferris wheel over there and that's where we planned on having it, but I think we're gonna change our direction here and we're gonna increase the size of this boardwalk so it comes along the backside of these buildings here and we're actually gonna put the Ferris wheel right here, but we're not going to put it on the sand or on the, the level of the sand, but we're gonna build a large boardwalk that comes out like this and we're gonna put the Ferris wheel there and then you'll be able to look underneath the dock-like feature and there'll be some hidden details underneath the Ferris wheel, underneath that dock. I think that'll look really neat. Looking back at this area here, there's actually a really cool rebrickable model that's been recently released. And it gives the haunted house a larger yard. As you can see, we have one and a half base plates open there. So I'm thinking of allocating another half base plate to the haunted house yard and it'll just be right there. I think it'll look pretty cool. I'll put up a couple photos of uh, those right now, actually, of, of that uh, rebrickable model. It's got like a well and a nice tree. It looks really good. And I'm thinking of integrating that into the haunted house area. And that will allow us to fill up one more spot here in our residential area, leaving one base plate open. What do you think we should do with the last base plate? So we've got lots of plans and stuff moving forward here in the Lego room as well really happy with what we accomplished today. Uh, Got to think about what we're going to build there in the residential area. 
Who knows? So you got to think about what we're going to do in that beach area as well. Maybe extend that boardwalk out, get that Ferris wheel place. That's going to be our next project for sure. We're going to be doing that. Got those trains fired up pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure we got a thousand tiles on the way so we can actually make the back area over there look half decent. Well, it looks half decent right now. But yeah, just making it look better than it looks now with the addition of tiles. Also, we got to figure out what we're going to do beside the haunted manor there. Lots of things to think about and lots of new stuff coming out all the time, right? Like ATAT -AT walkers and stuff like that. So you got to work that into our schedule as well. Yeah. So yeah, exciting day. Thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you guys enjoyed this Lego room, Lego shopping, Lego city vlog. I had a great time. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for coming on by and farewell.